Hi friends, I'm back again to share with you some new creative inspiration for Scrapbook Nerd. It's Allison and this week I have a layout that I created using my Cricut and I combined uh, Coco Vanilla Sunkissed in this layout as well. This week is very special because there is a challenge associated with this layout as well and you are invited to play along. If you choose to play along, you could win a $10 gift card to Scrapbook Nerd that you can use on whatever you want in the shop. And all you need to do to be entered to win that gift card is play along with the challenge. So this week's challenge, or what I am challenging you with, is to create with circles. It can look any way that you want as long as it is circular. I used limes that I cut with my Cricut. I also created um, drops with reinker to create the big drops that you see on the layout. I will do it again later on in this video because I find at the end of the video the bottom uh, right hand of the layout feels kind of bare and I wanted a bit more so I added some more splatters. When I get to that point in the video I'll explain how I get it done but in the meantime I'm going to share with you how the rest of the layout came together. So like I said I cut limes with my Cricut. I did hand stitch all of them. There's only three and I arranged them in no particular pattern onto the layout base but before I adhered them to the layout base I wanted to add some mixed media so I used the packaging technique to create the mixed media I did prepare my layout base just the white cardstock with gesso beforehand and I actually traced around the circles where I knew I wanted them to be even before I added the gesso so that I knew exactly where the mixed media was going to end up I'm using two pictures. They were cut at two by two inches. One is of my sister. She's on the right hand side. And the other one is of my daughter who's on the left hand side closest to the two lines. Uh, this layout is about one of the twins and how similar she is to my sister personality wise. They were cut from the same cloth. I admire them both and I figured that deserved a layout and a story to go along with it as well. I matted both my photos to some pattern paper, um, actually in cardstock as well too. So I think I used white cardstock that was also cut to two by two inches and then some of the pattern paper from Coco Vanilla Sunkissed as well. It's the yellow um, paper from the six by eight pad. But I alternated what order the pattern papers went on on each picture. So white is first and then yellow on the picture of my daughter and then on the picture of my sister it's yellow first and then white behind it. And because they are all the same size I just offset them so that you could still see them peeking out from behind the pictures. Um, in the past I've put them askew so they're not straight behind the photo but kind of wonky. This time I thought I'd do something a little bit different and that's what I ended up with. I also cut these super cute little white flowers that go over top of the limes. They actually came with the cut file on Cricut and um, I just decided to make more of them and sprinkle them around the rest of the page. There's also these super cute lemons. <laughs> they were cut with my Cricut but I cut them from more of the pattern paper from the Sunkissed collection. I'm just adhering them together right now and I'm throwing foam squares on the back of them so I can pop them up a little bit um, just to separate them from everything that's beneath them. The title part of it was cut with Cricut of course as well. It's the word ant. I'd cut it twice um, because I made a mistake originally when I was doing my cutting and I cut it from the sun-kissed paper from Coco Vanilla. I hadn't originally wanted that, but then I thought, you know what, it could be a good thing. So I'll cut it twice and I'll see which one I like better. So I pulled them both out, auditioned them both, and the one that I had originally wanted was the one that won out. But actually, the one that I cut from the 
sun-kissed collection would have worked as well but I really liked the lighter yellow instead of the darker yellow so I am adding the oh the date right now I will be adding the rest of the title as well with stamping so I incorporated some stamping into this layout as well the date went on a little tab you can see me adhering it right now just above the pictures I'm throwing some foam squares on it as well just so it clears the um, stitching that I added it does add a lot of bulk because I use all six strands when I hand stitch um, so to get around that I use foam squares if you decide to hand stitch in your projects you don't have to use all six strands a lot of people like to use only three of the strands um, it's personal preference whatever you like to do the most I like six strands because I feel like anything less than that is not as noticeable and I like it to be prominent in my layout so that's why I use um, six strands here is what I where I went crazy <laughs> with the ephemera pack and the um, puffy stickers from the collection I decided to pull in some more blue into this layout because the only blue to begin with were on the two lemons and I really liked the contrast of the green, yellow, and blue in the entire layout. So I pulled some more of that into the layout and then some green as well to pull in obviously more of the green <laughs> for the limes. Um, I sprinkled them around the page, used my liquid adhesive to glue them all together and I kept them to places where there was already going to be the little white flowers that you see in the center of the lines um, just to tie everything together and keep your focus on the meat of my layout. So this takes me a while. I did pull out lots of yellow flowers as well because I thought at first that I would use some of the yellow flowers. But as I got creating, I felt really drawn to the blues and I just stuck with it. You can just see me kind of faffing around with uh, the flowers. I pulled this one out in particular because I liked that it had a leaf on it. The one that was the one that was originally there didn't have any kind of a leaf on it and I wanted some more foliage. Um, so I pulled another one out. Oh, I also used just a teensy little bit of Heidi Swap art walk in this layout as well. And that's in the form of matting this layout to the base. The blue worked really well to tie in the rest of the colors of the layout, especially the blues and the flowers. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. Here I am adding the rest of the stamping. Um, this is going to be the rest of my title. So the entire title wasn't just going to be Ant. Um, it was going to be, and it is going to be, just like her aunt. So the full title is just like her aunt. Um, and that was a great starting point for me to begin my journaling. Because there was no room left, or I felt like anyways, without adding too much clutter to the layout, I decided to add my journaling around each of the limes instead of creating lines like I usually do in my layouts um, and I absolutely love the effect in my original design it was a little more spaced out than it ended up on the original and so there was room for lines to write my journaling out but in reality it didn't turn out that way but I think it was a happy accident because I love how the journaling looks around the circles I'm adding a couple Tim, actually just one Tim Holtz free sticker. It is from the Small Talk sticker book. I cut it in half because it was quite long and made two stickers out of it. And as promised, I'm creating more drops on this layout. All I did to do that was drop some reinker onto my all purpose mat. I don't believe I diluted it with water, I just left it straight ink. I put a lot on the mat so that a larger round paintbrush could pick up all that ink and then I used my fingers to squeeze it and then you ended up with those really nice large dots. 
in my original layout as well when I designed it before actually putting it together I had thought about using enamel dots to sprinkle all over the page as well or even um, Nouveau drops to create those drops in the end I totally skipped it because the mixed media in my opinion was sufficient for the circles and drops in this layout you can see me auditioning some puffy stickers around the layout. I thought the rainbow was absolutely perfect for this layout. I put it on my sister's picture because it's her. She is part of the LGBTQ community and it for me it was just a no-brainer to include a rainbow somewhere in my layout and on her picture was the ideal place. I do add a yellow heart over top of the rainbow as well to bring some more yellow into this layout. And then I found a really cute little tab that I put on the side of my daughter's picture and then I included a couple hearts there as well. And with that, this layout is pretty well done. I'm just searching through the ephemera pack for a couple more hearts and then you'll see that I add the yellow one to the rainbow. And I think I add a few more puffy hearts around the layout as well. I'm just about to add my journaling now. So I use my limes as a guide um, for the lines per se to write out my journaling. And that's honestly the last touch on this layout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really encourage you to play along with this challenge if you feel inspired to do so. Like I said, you can win a $10 gift card to the Scrapbook Nerd Shop if you choose to play along. I will leave a link to the group page on Facebook in the description box down below so you know exactly where to go to participate in this challenge. There will be a challenge album over on the Facebook group for you to share your completed projects to in order to be uh, entered into the draw. The draw happens next Sunday, uh, next Saturday, pardon me, at midnight, I believe. And then the winner will be announced soon after that. Good luck, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this layout inspired you. I hope you are surviving this heat wave that we are in. Take care, friends. I will be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye.